Hello everyone, this is Maran. Today I'll show you the Hardy Ramanujan number and how to solve it. So, what is the Hardy Ramanujan number? The Hardy Ramanujan number is the number that can be expressed as the sum of two cubes in two different ways. The most famous one which you have may or may not have heard is 1729. It turns out 1729 is equal to 1 cubed plus 12 cubed or it can also equal 9 cubed plus 10 cubed. The story comes from Srinivasa Ranmanujan and G H R D. So when R D came to visit Ramanujan uh, in Putni, R D came in a taxi with the cab number one seven two nine. He remarked that it was a dull number. Ramanujan said that it's not. It is the smallest number that can be represented as two cubes, the sum of two cubes in two different ways, one cube plus 12 cube and nine cube plus 10 cube. It turns out there are actually two such four digit numbers. This is one of them, one, seven, two, nine, and we are supposed to create a program that can find the other. So how do we start? We can create two variables, A and B. A will stand for the first pair of cubes and B will stand for the second pair of cubes that do their sum. Next, we can create a list of cases that will contain both A and B, their sum. What's next? We'll need to use a nested for loop. Now, a nested for loop is just a for loop that's inside a, well, another for loop. So for i in range, mm, we'll be talking about four digit numbers. So let's say 1 to 20. Then inside the for loop, we'll set a equal to i cubed. Now, this double asterisk is different from the single asterisk. The single asterisk is multiplication. The double asterisk is exponents. Okay, let's continue. So the next for loop, 4j in range. There's a reason why I didn't keep i again, because we are inside the for loop, which is using i. So using the same variable will cause errors. So for j in range, this time instead from 1, we'll start from i, just to reduce the data. So i, comma, 20. Here we said b equal to the same thing, this time j, to the power of q. Now we'll append that value to the list cases. A plus B. So now we got the list of all the possible cube sums ranging from 1 to 20. Now we need a for loop to check all of those cases. So for I in range from 1 to, this time we need to go from 1 to the length of cases. If I just type cases, it won't accept it because cases is a list and not a number. So to get the number, we need to use the len function, that is L-E-N. So inside the loop, let's set uh, sample to the current cases what case it is because we are iterating oops because we are iterating over from 1 to the length of cases 
all the things will be covered okay now that we got our sample let's use an if statement so if cases dot count sample is equal to equal to 2 just print out that sample now what is this dot count dot the count method which is only available for lists is the method that checks whether a value in a list appears more than one time and if so how many times because taxi cabs will have their sum appearing two times we check if their count appears two times if so we print it out now let's save our program to test it There we go. So the first number is obviously 1729, but we also got 4104, which means 4104 is also a taxicab number, which is correct. Now you may notice that it printed the same thing two times. That was because we are checking whether or not the sample came two times. And because of that, it found the same case two times. That's why it checked for the first time, it printed. Second time, it printed the same thing again, which is why it came two times. This is a relatively fast program, except with one disadvantage. You'll have to figure out the ranges, that is from one, or I, to what number. For four digit numbers from like zero to the highest four digit number you can experience with cubes, the 20 will be enough. So thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it.